shit. I am so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of uh, The Outer Worlds. All right, how does this sound? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to walk into you like that. Oh, my goodness. Ruth Bellamy? I simply adore your work. We've been over this already. You can't rehearse running into Ruth Bellamy. It's not going to work. Fine, <laughs> fine. What about we are going to go audition for Odeon Pictures. <coughs> because that's what responsible peaches do when they have the fate of the colony in their hands. They go rehearse for auditions to, uh, to films. <laughs> Hiya! For our audition, please use the elevator on the left. Okay. Let's see what this vending machine has. Alright, control armor, ordnance, standard, standard. <laughs> <coughs> Oh man, that last episode was fantastic, I think. <laughs> of course, now uh, I have to try not to muck My it all up. My in pictures. That business needs to be <coughs> civil. If you could just leave me back at the ship, I'm sure there's something I ought to be fixing now. You two gonna stay here then? Aww. You don't want to see me audition? Great! You made it! Listen, I know you're expecting a script, but you're the real deal. Just go in there and do what feels natural. <laughs> Just go in there and do what feels natural. You got it. <laughs> we gave the other actors real weapons to keep things authentic. And because Josh is paying to see their logo on the big screen. Real weapons, eh? I think I can work with that. <laughs> See, I knew you did it. <coughs> now go in there, find your mark, and show us what you got. Well, well. Here to stop us at last, Captain Steel? You're too late. All of this settlement CNP hungry time food pills, same nutritional value, but now with added filler are ours with their patented stomach stuffing effects and baseline vitamin content we will be nigh unstoppable <laughs> <laughs> jokes on you idiot those crates are just decoys they they are what an <coughs> unexpected twist you may have fooled me for now but not for long can i shoot someone Wait, are we the good guys or the bad guys? Doesn't matter. I want to shoot someone. Let's do it. Do you remember the last time we faced each other? The Battle of Axajax, staring one another down <laughs> Battle of across Axajax. the void of space while flaming debris <laughs> fell like rain around us. <laughs> oh, I don't have their intelligence. <laughs> Bugger. What of it? <laughs> What indeed? I had you surrounded and outgunned, but you overcame my superior numbers with tactical thinking and a Hammersmith limited edition grenade launcher. I've been waiting for five years now, and at last my day for vengeance has come. Ah, bugger, I don't have 65 Intimidate. Exude wordless fury. <laughs> <coughs> That's what you think! Yes, it is. I have this whole port wired with some micro energon transistors. Once we're away, I'll activate the gamma particulate field, and the quantiponic chain reaction will turn this whole place into vaporized plasma. <laughs> Most of those words are made up, and the ones. Are that are real won't don't work like that <laughs> not if i have anything to say about it 
Oh, but there's nothing you can do. I hope you've paid your burial fees and signed your personal death and dismemberment waivers because this is the end for you. Let's see you try. I... Line... Never mind, I think that's scene. To the break room, everyone. I need my Moab fizzy tea. Cut, cut. That was interesting, kid. Real novel take. Let's take five. What? I wanted to shoot them! I want... To shoot! You promised me I'd be able to shoot! Hey, listen, uh, I appreciate what you tried there. Um, we've got to review your footage before we make a final decision, though. Okay. Here, take this for making the trip down here. Don't call us. We'll call you. At least I got a rare achievement that only like 9.99% of the player base got. <laughs> At least on uh, Xbox, anyway. Parvati, <coughs> what did you think of my performance? Hmm? I did really well. Let's see, do you have anything I can buy? Advanced defense helmet, elite tree, ordnance, and stuff. Nope. <coughs> Bye, guy. Well, acting isn't for everyone. I should have killed them when I had the chance. Meadows, <laughs> <coughs> purple berry pipe. Oh. Have you seen Terror on Monarch? Terror on Monarch. Dr. Ellie, you ever wonder if maybe we got some things in common? This isn't another thing about wrenches and guns, is it? Because you're a surgeon and I'm a mechanic. We both fix things, heal them up. Hate to break it to you, but before I got to Groundbreaker, I fixed more noses than bones. Nowadays, I probably shoot more than I save. Oh. <laughs> At least you tried, Ellie. Or er, Pavati. Alright. Uh Yeah, Shimmerist's last experiment. <coughs> Gotta return to Lilia. Let's fast travel back to my ship. <coughs> I probably did, should have done more of the uh, the facial twitches and all that. I believe your choice to spare Chartrand would be considered the honorable path, yes? Sublight's money is inconsequential in the face of ethics. Well put, Ada. Now I go back to the Grand Biker. We've arrived at the Ground Biker. You know, there's still three more planets I need to unlock. I don't think I'm anywhere close to the end of this game. <laughs> I mean, I felt like I was kind of close, but then again, not really. Felix, you in. Wait. Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, Felix. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Lilia, I uh, I completed your mission. <coughs> Bugger. <coughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna find the uh the armor pieces i'm looking for although i'll have a feeling i already found them and i ended up selling them which kind of bums me out just a bit because i'm such a fool <coughs> but not really i would have sold them anyway like i did and then regret it later like i am now <laughs> All right, you two. I want you on your best behavior when you chat with Lilia. <coughs> Is it done? Lilia, buddy. I spoke to Chartrand. I'm not going to kill her. Well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Good for Technically, you. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species, or are we finished here? You misunderstood Chartrand's research. She's our best shot at survival on Halcyon. <coughs> You're awfully quick to trust someone who offed her colleagues and called it a good start. Out of my office. We're done. The thanks we get for showing a little integrity. You think maybe she's got an itchy trigger finger? I don't want to find out. Goodbye, Lilia. It was not nice knowing you. <laughs> well, that was... Uh, that was nice. Kinda. Chicken and potatoes. Oh, it's on the public terminal. Callahan M. The hat? You made your space's choice when you signed the employment contract. I keep telling you the hat doesn't fit right. There's something wrong with it. How many people have worn this thing before me? Is this my life now? Because if it is, I'll take it. I'll be your moon man. But there won't be anything left of me to care. <laughs> Are you okay, honey? Hope you're doing well, Mom. Thought I'd check in. Engineers visit the shop a bunch. I remember when I used to turn a wrench back home on Terra too. Lilia Hagen over in Sublight told me that I could always pursue a career in salvage if this thing doesn't work out. Please give Dad and the others a hug from me. Mom, it's really great that we can stay in touch like this. Little reminders of home are more important than ever. Enjoy the quality, spaces, choice, goods I sent. You can get ones like them at home, but I figured you might appreciate me getting the company discounted for them. <laughs> and his mom just replies, Are you okay, honey? <laughs> Feel that? That's right, we fixed the radiators. Groundbreaker is venting heat as intended. Credit where credit is due. We couldn't have done it without an outsider who took a great personal risk and expense for our sakes. If you see a new face wandering the promenade looking lost, chances are they deserve a hug for helping us through this crisis. Groundbreaker thanks you, outsider. Sweet! Loitering on board property is strictly prohibited. <laughs> 
the Halcyon Holdings corporate offices it's, and its environs are for conducting official board business only. Anyone found misusing board property will be fined accordingly. Board property includes, but is not limited to, Halcyon Holdings office here on Groundbreaker, a space directly in front of my desk, the space directly behind my desk, my doorway, my berth, <laughs> and most importantly, my stairs. Thank you for your cooperation. Udom Bedford, certified liaison. P.S. Please note that the next spacer caught drinking on the stairs outside the embassy may find themselves on the rude side of an airlock. <laughs> P.P.S. This is the third time I've had to post this message and I'm sick and tired of it. I will not hesitate to open a board sanctioned investigation into your behavior and, when you are caught, punish you accordingly. Felix Millstone. <laughs> Oh, Felix, what, uh, wh where the fuck did you go, Felix? Felix? Parvati? Are you two still stuck up there? I'm all alone. <coughs> well, time to go talk to Minister Clark. Actually, I think I can, uh, teleport straight to my ship. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, out of uh... some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Oh, that's just Ellie practicing, or Parvati practicing again. I don't feel at all bad for, uh, the way Lilia's quest line ended. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, aliens, come on, man. You gotta have a larger imagination than that, <laughs> no matter how entertaining it was. Take someone to watch your back. Will do, Ada. Hmm, who have I not taken in a while? I haven't taken Vicar Max or Sam. Well, I kind of want to keep with Felix and Parvati. Yeah. <coughs> my little brother and my little sister in the digital world. The little sister that I've never had. I think I'm going to end this episode early. Thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoy the next video as well. We are going to talk to Minister Clark in the next episode. Should be exciting. <laughs> Tschüss.